morning. By Carol Abersole. That's my mom. And Shanda Bell. That's me. See? She's right there. Do you want to hear the story? Have you ever wondered how Santa could know if you're naughty or nice each year as you grow? For hundreds of years, it's been a big secret. It now can be shared if you promise to keep it. At holiday time, Santa sends me to you. I watch and report on all that you do. My job's an assignment from Santa himself. I'm his helper, a friendly scout out. The first time I come to the place you call home, you quickly must give me the name of my home. Once you are finished my mission can start, what will you call me? Marco or Zart? Will it be Fottle, Fiddle, or Fly? Disney's cute too, but you must decide. Each night while you're sleeping to Santa, I'll fly to the North Pole right through the dark sky. Of course Christmas magic helps me to be quick. I laugh with my friends and report to St. Nick. What do you think an elf laugh sounds like? You think it's like... I tell him if you have been good or been bad. The news of the day makes him happy or sad. A push or a shove, I'll report to the boss. But small acts of kindness will not be a loss. In the car, at the park, or even at school, the word will get out if you go Love it. I'll be back at your home before you awake, and then you must find the spot I will take. You'll jump out of bed and come running to see. We'll be the first to spy little old me. Do you guys see the elf in this picture? Good job! Maybe the kitchen, the bathroom, or den is where you will find me, your special elf friend. I can hide on a plant, a shelf, or a frame. Where will I be? Let's make it a den. Good job. Do you see another elf in this picture? In here? Oh, you guys are so smart. Good job. Crazy. This is the most important part of the story. Do you already know the rule? You can't do something with the elf. Do you know what it is? You can't touch it. That's right. There's only one rule that you have to follow, so I will come back and be here tomorrow. Please do not touch me. My magic might go. Santa won't hear all I've seen or I know. I won't get to tell him that you've said your prayers or helped to bake cookies or clean off the stairs. How will he know how good you have been? He might start to think I forgot about him. I can't speak to you, so says Santa Claus. All of us elves have to follow his laws. But I'll listen to you. Tell me your wishes. Would you like a game or some tiny toy dishes? A gleam in my eye and my bright little smile. I'll show you I'm listening and noting your fun. The final decision was Santa now rests. What do you think? Will you get your request? The night before Christmas, my job's at an end. The rest of the year, with Santa I'll spend. So blow me a kiss. Can you blow a kiss? Just like that. Good job. And bid me farewell. I'll fly away when I hear Santa's bell. Of course I will miss you. But wait till next year. When the holidays come, I'll again reappear. Until then, I wish every girl and each boy a Christmas of peace and a year full of joy. That's the story of the Alpha Shuttle.